Hey guys, how you doing? Gamer J, aka the Vito here on APB uh, on the Abea, sorry, the Citadel server. It's changed for some reason. I don't know why. I wasn't here when it happened. I logged back in and suddenly it was Citadel. Anyway, doing a video for you COP15 wannabes out there. Um, I am COP15, have been for some time, and all I do in the game is arrest. Uh, I don't do uh, killing anymore. Um, so I thought I would do a video that would um, showcase or sh make your path to COP15 if that's what you are looking to do. If you're not then you may as well not watch the rest of this video. Um, because what well, I'm going to be honest with you, COP15 is, getting to COP15 is probably going to be one of the most frustrating things you'll ever endeavor to do in APB. It is exceptionally frustrating, it is quite difficult and it's lengthy. It is a bit of a grind simply down to the number of rests that you have to achieve um, to get to COP15. Even the, the later levels uh, you're talking 250 arrests per level and that is pretty hardcore. Um, the reason it's frustrating is because your nubshite teammates, if you're pugging it, if you're going solo like I did, <coughs> um, your nubshite teammates will att attempt to, or not even attempt to, they just will point blank kill your stuns when they're stunned, both while they're stunned and you're trying to get to them, or even when you're actually doing the arrest on them. So the you know that happens quite a lot, and you'll see that in some of the videos. I've deliberately left a few of them in the clips that you're about to see, um, so that you can see these nub shites in action and some of the frustrations <laughs> that comes comes with it. But if you go into it knowing that that's going to happen with that in your in mind and don't take it too seriously, then you'll be fine. I have no problem with people killing stunned targets if they're too far away and they can't see that the person's stunned, um, or that you can't actually get to them in time before. Or unstunned, but I have no patience whatsoever or tolerance for dipshits or nubshites who kill stuns whilst you're actually arresting them. Generally, what I'll do is I'll kill them, pretty much team kill them, and I, I uh, would suggest you do the same. Teach them a lesson and all that. So, loadout what I'm going to quickly run through is loadout. What is the best loadout for getting maximum arrests? Well, everyone that does that, that goes on the path to COP15 will have their own personal. Uh, preference for me personally, um, I go with the Staba CCG, which is if I can get my locker up, uh, which is a, basically the uh, Staba rifle. So it's a medium, long to medium ranged um, stun gun, uh, and it's all right at close range as well. But um, you really, you shouldn't be using it at close range because you're going to be using the best arresting gun in the game, which is the stab a pig. Um, this is the one thing that you must take from this video if you're going to be COP15 is to learn and master the stab a pig. It's a very difficult gun to master. It will take you a long time to get the hang of it. It took me a while. I hated it. I couldn't use it. I couldn't hit anything with it. Um, but I persevered and it became my primary weapon. I basically go out now with the stab a pig as my primary and the uh, stabber rifle as my secondary. Now when you guys start, you'll start off with a bog standard stabber. Uh, it won't have any mods in it, but trust me guys, it doesn't make any difference. It's still a phenomenal gun um, for, for for using uh, to get a rest. Your big problem is going to be when you first use it is it lets off a lot of smoke, so when you're moving from right to left uh, you, it will sometimes obscure the view of your target, but stick with it. Stick with it and you'll, you'll be fine. Um, Perk grenades is an absolute must, especially with a stab a pig, because the way the stab a pig works is it is a one shot, three second load, which that and that is why you'll find it very difficult to use, because after you've shot, it takes three seconds to reload, and if you're getting into if you're close quarter combat with uh, another player, that three seconds is the difference between life and death. So if you miss the first shot, then they will guaranteed fill your body with metal, and uh, and and that'll be the end of you. So make sure you practice with this and try your damnedest to get the first shot off because the way that the stabber works is two shots will stun a player but as you can see because of the reload time that that time involved in between the reload is is, is long enough um, so that's where the perks come in because what you want to do with the perk is you want to hit with the stabber and throw in the perk straight away which is what a second if you can do that, then you're instantly stunned. This leads me on to my next tip and what you must have if you want to get this, if you want to get to COP15. You must have 
Let me just get it up. Where am I? What is it? I. You must have Cuffmate 5 F4. Cuffmate 4 is it's a mod or equipment that will allow you to arrest players. The animation goes much, I think it's 40% um, faster and it is absolutely imperative, especially with a pig because after you've stunned someone you want to get that rest, arrest in f super fast before your nubshite teammates have a chance to kill them or the enemy teammates have a chance to kill you. Um, so really save your money if you don't have the money for it make that your number one priority uh, server play on a bronze server don't play on a silver server the reason for that is the ser silver servers are full of flipping uh, hackers um, unfortunately this game does have a problem with hackers but the good news is they tend to get promoted very quickly up to gold and once they're gold they cannot go back down to a bronze server so unfortunately there is a little bit of de threatening required if you do hit gold for me I hit gold all the time I go hit gold and I come back down to silver um, but it is unfortunately required if you want to avoid playing with the uh, the hackers and the pro guys as well there are some pro guys on on these uh, silver servers um, but, but both are a bit of a nightmare when it comes to making a rest I I'm okay now with with the pro players I can make a lot of rest but when you're starting out or when you're trying to learn the, the pig stabber you'll just find it too frustrating the pro players tend to work as a team and when they're working as a team you'll find that you you'll get killed you'll get you might get some stuns but you will get killed before you um, you're able to get the arrest and so just make sure you play on the the bronze server uh, the other top tip that you need is just make sure that you've got uh, a resupply fitted to your vehicle this ain't the vehicle I use so it doesn't have one but make sure you've got a resupply wait till nubshite stop shooting uh, wait until make sure you've got a resupply in your vehicle and if you can use the player modification the resupply player modification because you will go through perks like nobody's business uh, perk grenades are your number your number one weapon with the pig and you'll use them up really quickly so whenever you do a mission take your car make sure you park it reasonably close you know where it is because you're going to run back to that quite a lot and resupply yourself with perks um, tactics you really need to make use of cover make use of cover you'll see this in the video that I'm the, the clips that I'm going to show you um, there's about 10 minutes of me using the stab pig on missions I did today uh, these aren't a build up of clips I did over a period of time they are missions I did today um, you'll see be using the, the stab a pig to, to great advantage with a bit of skill uh, but you're really looking to use cover to surprise your enemy pop out pop them with a pig and and uh, perk but also when you're in the mission forget what your teammates are doing flank the enemy as much as you can use that radar so that you can know exactly where your, your enemy is and flank them as much as possible because it's Sneaking up behind someone with the pig is your ideal situation. If they're unaware and they're shooting at someone else, you can get the pig on them and a perk before they even know it. So, so do that as much as you can, and you will uh, you will get loads of arrests. But as I say, persevere. This is the only thing I'm going to repeat over and over again. Persevere with this little beauty of a weapon. You might think it's it's the devil in disguise when you first try to use it because of its one hit three seconds done but I promise you once you master it and you'll see this from the videos that I use it time and time again to get loads of arrest anyway guys I'm not gonna rattle on uh, hopefully you'll enjoy these clips if you have any questions whatsoever leave them in the comments hopefully you'll subscribe please and uh, enjoy the enjoy the arrests take care guys
<coughs> that was for being a noob. Hey there. That was for being a dick. Hey there.
got the rest, that's all that matters. So there you have it guys, hopefully you've learnt something from the, the videos, uh, from the clips, um, particularly how to how uber the pig is um, and how to use it to your advantage. As I say, you'll get loads of arrests from that if you can master that weapon. Um, just to recap on some of the tactics there, obviously with the pig surprises everything. You know, you saw me hiding behind uh, around, around corners, um, popping out, surprising them, stunning them, hitting them once with a pig and then perking them or getting in close combat with them running around make sure you're you're moving around practice getting that shot off on them if you miss them first time run around like a, a maniac and uh, hopefully you'll survive long enough to get the second one off uh, forget what your team's doing don't focus on what your team's doing focus on flanking flank 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 use the radar use it look at it use it to your advantage make sure you know where those enemy players are and flank the hell out of them uh, your job is to get behind them, surprise them with a pig, and it's pretty much game over. You saw all the arrests I made there. I actually did even more, but the first video was messed up. Uh, don't ask me why or how. Um, but that was just that was a couple of hours worth of um, of gameplay. So, any questions, guys? Put the uh, questions in the comments, and please subscribe. Subscribe, please. Anyway, I'm going to be making loads more of these videos, so I'll see you in the next one.